Uh, this is uh, Dawn. I am going to make the Christmas cake. This isn't going to be like a full tutorial or anything, um, because it's out there on the internet if you need it. I am not the person to talk to, although actually I am a pretty good baker if I say so myself. Um, I started, I've washed my hands, um, so good to go. Um, yeah, I am using um, a recipe from the BBC Good Food website. It is called Simmer and Stir Christmas Cake. Uh, it's the one that I've used for the last couple of years and it's just generically awesome. Um, doesn't involve soaking the fruit because you basically just stick it all in the pan and boil it all up together which means you don't have to beat the egg, not the egg, you don't have to beat the sugar and butter together, bonus, um, and it doesn't involve fruit soaking so it doesn't take so long, bonus. Um, yeah, you take uh, butter, sugar, fruits, um, lemon zest and stuff, um, and brandy and stick it in a large pan and bring it to the boil. I'm not using brandy, um, partly because I'm a cheapskate and I don't feel like buying any, um, and partly because um, I don't really like it. So I will be using a mixture of whiskey and ginger wine and whatever else I've got in the cupboard, um, but it'll be alcohol. So, scales. Bought on a drunken trip to uh, Hatches. Uh, that's what we do. We get drunk and we buy kitchen equipment. So yeah, and I'm going to start by weighing out fruit and I need 750 grams of fruit in total. Just so everything falls out of the cupboard. Yep. Now, we're going to start with sultanas because they're like your basic. You just need them anyway because they taste good and stuff. So like, I'm using loads of different fruits. Most people like, you know, you can get like Sultanas, raisins, currants, maybe some cherries, and that's that. But no, I am having diced dried pineapple, um, and I will be using um, dried peaches, um, apricots, all kinds of things, um, just because I really like the variety it gives. Last year we had like dried cherries and blueberries and all sorts in there. When I went to have a look in the shop to decide which fruits I was going to use, they were a bit expensive, so I decided not to go down that route. Um, so, I have 155 grams of sultanas, and I've got, this is dried, well, diced pineapple, because I don't know if it's dried or candied or what, but it's pineapple. <coughs> Hygienic, see? Coughing into my elbow rather than my hand. Here we go. How much pineapple have I got here? 125. Probably don't want all of that, because that's a lot of pineapple. Zero the scales again. About 75 grams, I think. It's pre chopped, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, 78 grams, close enough. What now? That's more sultanas, don't need more sultanas. What have we got down here? Ah, yes, my peaches. Peach hearts. I went into the health food shop basically and went mad on dried fruit, just seeing what they had. Um, oh, double chin. So, we'll just go with. This, where's my sharp knife? One sec. There we go. You'll do. Sharp knife. Careful when handling sharp knives, children. So I'm just going to chop these into little bits. Um, you don't need to watch me do this, so uh, I'll be back in a minute. Chop, 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 chopping along, chopping along, chopping along. Chop, 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 chopping along, chop, chop, chopping along. Next up, I'm using some of the odds and ends of dried fruit packets I've got in the cupboard, because I might as well. Um, I've got some prunes here. I've got some normal apricots here. What's this? Oh god, it's a big bag, whatever it is. Raisins! You need raisins. That's good. Chuck the raisins in as they are, that's easier. Oh, zero the counter. Oh, I tried a little bit of the um, dried um, peach stuff. It's weird quite nice but it tastes kind of buttery and uh, peachy obviously yeah, let's check all the all the raisins it's actually a great deal of raisin it's another 155 grams flukishly I'm adding up all the fruits I'm doing as I go um, because otherwise I'm going to end up with um, having put fruit in and absolutely no idea how much or what I've done so um, because I'm weighing each one individually you're on that side so chopping prunes now all sticky 
I really like prunes. I know not everybody does. Um, did you know that prunes are actually sugar plums? Um, like in the Christmas Carol thing, um, where they're going on about visions of sugar plums and stuff. Um, yeah, sugar plums are prunes. Um, they sound much nicer when they're described as sugar plums. Oh, the washing machine's finished. One second. Transformation coming up. Ta-da! It's not much of a transformation, I grant you. Um, oh, the iPad moved slightly. There we go. Um, but I have my Christmas apron now. So, yay, I'm all festive. Um, still chopping prunes at the moment. I've got 56 grams, that's that. So we'll add that into the little calculatory thingy. So we go plus 56. 533 grams of fruit now. It goes in. Um, I'm sorry I can't really show you what I'm actually doing um, close up, but because it, it being like a massive full-sized iPad, it's not very easy to wield. So I've just kind of got it balanced against the back of the work surface. Um, I will try and work out a way of doing it for you soon. Um, also, because I think, a couple of things, um, we might be buying a proper camera this weekend, which will be very exciting. Get some of my rubbish here. There we go. Um, and once we've got like a really nice proper camera, um, I'll be able to do awesome vlogs. The only problem with that is, I don't actually have a compoopa um, anymore. It's dead. Um, I just use my iPad, and I don't think there's any way that I can take a normal, like, proper camera and get it onto my iPad, because it doesn't have a USB port or anything. Um, all it's got is its lightning connector. I wonder if I could use that. But, we'll see. I'll work it out one day. What else have I got in here? Oh, dates, yep. Anyone for a date? Um, no, I'm a taken woman. What do you take me for? So we've got dates. What's this? That is, it says it's mixed fruits with cranberries and apricots, but it looks to me like another couple of figs. Um, clearly I've used that up and then just chucked my figs back in the bag. And what's this? Ah, oh, yeah. These are actually apricots. Now I know they're not the colour you're used to seeing apricots. Um, that's because they are unsulfured, so they haven't had lo lots of, ooh, they don't look very nice. Spin those figs. Um, they haven't had lots of extra nasties added to make them look all pretty and orange. So although they don't look very pretty, um, A, I'm baking them into a cake, so it doesn't really matter, um, and B, they do taste really quite a lot nicer. So if you can bring yourself to eat brown apricots, um, they are really nice. Um, yeah, so I don't know, really 182 grams of fig? I doubt it. No, it's 22 grams of fig, that makes a lot more sense. Let's just chuck the apricots in with those, they don't really need to be separate gonna get silly otherwise isn't it yes, say yes to them. yes to them. right once again with the chopping of fruit see you in a minute so I've just added my chopped apricots and now 651 grams in total um, I need 750 um, so I'm going to do some dates I'm going to do this uh, what do you think how many dates lots of dates because I quite like dates they're like all sweet and they taste of toffee oh that's a few too many I <laughs> don't need that many that was well over 100 grams worth there. Uh, chuck a few back in the bag. It's probably really loud from where you are, sorry. There we go. 70 grams of date, and then I can like make it up with some other more interesting bits and pieces as well. Chop, chop, chop here, chop here, chop here. Should we have the radio on? Yes, let's turn on the radio. There we go, absolute radio. I hope that's not too loud. Um, now I can sing along and embarrass myself. I like embarrassing myself. Ah, it's also playing um, I Miss You, which I want to say is Blink. I'd be really embarrassed if it's not Blink-182, because that's one of Kurt's favourite bands. Because he is actually a secretly a teenage punk at heart. Actually, it's not even a secret, he just is. He's a teenage punk. Um, we know this. Yeah. I love making a Christmas cake. It's one of those things that I'd be really sad if I didn't do, I think. Um, I just really enjoy it. Um, a couple of years ago I made um, mince meat and Christmas puddings as well. Um, I am thinking, because I've got like loads of cooking apples um, from my nan's garden, I'm thinking I might make some mince meat this, um, mince meat this year, but I'm not quite sure yet. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't have any suet or anything, and I'll basically just be making it up out of what I've got.
I suppose really I should have Christmas music on for this. But um, since my iPad, not my iPad, my iPad's fine, my iPod broke, I don't know if I've got any Christmas music that I can actually hook up anywhere. I'm a, I don't know the words, have I heard? I'm a sinner. Right, have I got anything else in here that I want? Oh, yes! I want some of this, stem ginger. It's not officially in the recipe, but I really like the, what it gives to... Also, I keep using all the syrup from the jar, which is probably not good. Um, when I make a honey and lemon, it's so nice. If you're making hot honey and lemon, a little bit of syrup from the jar, oh, so good. Um, so, yeah, that's a nice little tip for you there. If you've got, like, you've used all the ginger and you've got the syrup left, then that's a far more sensible way around of doing it. Um, alternately, the other thing that's really good is grate a little bit of fresh ginger in. That's quite nice. Right, that's 27 grams. I need like another gram. Well, three. So I'll chuck in a little bit of pineapple just because it's an easy thing to chuck in like two grams worth. There we go. So here we have 750 grams of fruit. I'm just going to wash my hands um, and then I will show you what the fruit looks like. So yeah, there we go. Hands are now nice and washed and you see my apron a bit better now as well. So cool. Ooh, sock on the floor there. There we go. There is my bowl of fruit, 750 grams. Right. Next step of the recipe. That's the phone, I'll be back. Phone call from a uh, lovely Indian man um, from consumer opinions or something, um, asking me all kinds of random questions as they are want to do. So, we need to put the fruit, whoops, don't drop the sharp knife on your foot, we need to put the fruit into a, into a large saucepan, which I have now. I love this song! Right, next is the butter, sugar, so on and so forth. So what kind of sugar do I need? I think it's this one. It says dark muscovado. I have dark brown soft. That'll do. Close enough. How much of that do I need? 200 grams? Yes. Oh, oh, and you're married, Talamore. I don't care what they think about us anyway. I don't care about that. We'll come out the packet. Way! Now it's all come out. That's what you get for making the hole bigger. That's what she said! Spooning it back out. Spoony, spoony. Ah, 200 pounds. There we go. And that goes into the pan. Next. Again, um, I carried on with the cake, um, the way I've had out of memory, so I've had to delete a load of stuff. Um, and now I'm back and I can show you some more uh, cake making. Um, I got all the flour and, no, I haven't done the flour. Um, I got everything else weighed out and it's all gone in the pan and it's boiled. Um, so it's come up to the boil and now it looks really good. Num, num, num. I can't see my hand. There we go. Um, so yeah, in there, that's the butter, the sugar, um, brandy, because I actually found some, I did have brandy. Um, all of that, all mixed together, it gets um, like simmered for 10 minutes um, and then it needs to cool down a bit, which is what it's doing now. So, yeah, nom. 